what happened to you. I made no promises or no bones about it. For the rain falls on the just and the unjust. That's right. It's just that the just carry an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> My job is just to equip you with an umbrella. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The attitude say that this is how you should be. Are you willing to walk away for it? Father, what in your life is preventing you from reflecting Him? Mm. Who in your life is preventing you from reflecting Him? Mm. What way have you thought about God that is keeping you from reflecting Him? Mm. Whatever that thing or those people may be, repent. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes. If your attitude does not reflect Him, that is an indicator of something that's preventing you from living a kingdom life. Mm. If somebody can get up in your grill, and you start going toe to toe mm. so that he's not reflected, mm. that's the wrong attitude. Mm. You need to repent. If there's something that you've acquired or something that you are desiring and you are not going to think that you are or act like you're blessed until you achieve it, you have it, or can keep it. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. You're not going to walk in the right now kingdom yep. A empowering blessing. Yes. Yes. If something is preventing you to act like you are blessed right now, right now, right. Right now. repent of it. Mm. Mm. Right. Yes. And let me tell you, this is this is it. I'm done. Let's, let's shut that down. Here's the key. This is what happens when you become aware of the issues that are preventing you from reflecting. When you repent of those things. He starts showing you how to walk them back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Catch this, catch this. Yeah. Because just because you repent of it doesn't mean it goes away. Right. Right. Because right. uh -huh. we, we have this hocus pocus theology. Yeah. You're right, you're right. But the moment that I realize how burdened I am by you, how hooked I am into you. I just rebuke you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and all of a sudden, your hold is no more. It don't work like that. Amen. Because many of us have prayed over people uh -huh. and places and things. Stages and states. Amen. Only to find ourselves back there again. Yeah, man. Yes. Amen. Amen. You ain't gotta say amen. I, I, amen. 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 Came up in a Honda and threw <laughs> oil on it and cleaned the blood. But, <laughs> when you found yourself wrapped up, tied up, tangled up, and in the sheets all over again, yeah. oh, you, you said, God, how did I get here? And then you went, oh, and you was poor all over oh, again. Yeah. Broken. Mm. Busted and disgusted. Mm. What repentance does is it doesn't remove it. It reveals it. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. When you say, you know what? Enough is enough. You adjust my attitude in the wrong direction. Yes. Wow. Yes. Amen. Okay. And I'm going to repent yes. of my connection with this or you. Yes. Come on. All right. I'm yes. willing to be poor than to say that this thing made me rich. Mm. Mm. Come on, God. Yes. Come yes. on. Yes. Yes. And when you do that, he reveals to you. What elements of that thing are tripping you up the most? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is walk away slowly. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't run. You might, because you know, you, it might chase you. Keep your eye on it. Now, I, I repented. 180. 
See, what we do, fools, that we are, 360. And you start walking around. 180. Teach is faster. No sudden movements. But you've determined that, you know what, I'd rather be poor. I'd rather not have. If this is hindering me, that's what blessed are the poor, and theirs is. And you will find that in that moment, he gives you the strength, because you're in the kingdom, in that moment, to walk away. That's the power, to walk, that's the power, in the kingdom, right then. And you must do that until you're away from it. Amen. Amen. Daily. All right. you, you can't use yesterday's strength okay. to walk today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna get no help. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad we shouted at the beginning because I had to teach in the end. Amen. <laughs> Typical church does it all backwards. Amen. All they remember was the shout, but they ain't got no process. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. I'm done. Right. Bless are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom. Amen. With heads bowed and eyes shut. Thank you, Lord. Eternal God, our Father, we bless your holy name for being thank you. our God. We thank you that Christ came, he died, but before he rose, in his rising, he brought to our remembrance that he left the road map. <laughs> his rising proved that his living was right. <laughs> so now let us go back and look at his living and let us mimic that. God, I thank you for every gift, every vessel, every person under the sound of my voice. Amen. God, I thank you for what they have survived and how they have walked what they've been in. But Father, I, I, I ask that as they willfully surrender themselves to the kingdom, that you let them know that they're more than survivors, they're kingdom soldiers. And as such, there is a place provided for them that you want them to take over, but they, they haven't quite felt tenacious enough to go after it because they're still battling what's inside them. Allow them, Lord God, to know what they need to walk away from. Allow them to know what's in their life, good, bad, or indifferent, that is preventing them from properly reflecting you in the earth. Allow them to ask the question of themselves, where are you? Where is this particular situation putting me in the kingdom? And if I find that I'm not where I need to be in you, show me how to repent of it. Show me what I need to repent for. and Put me in the kingdom where the kingdom strengthens me to the point that I can walk away so. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now with eyes still shut and heads still bowed, there may be someone here under the sound of my voice who says, you know what, preacher, I, I think I heard that. I, 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 I know that where I am is not where I need to be. But I can't seem to muster up the strength nor develop the strategy in order to get out of where I am. Well, my brother, my sister, my friend, if that is you here today, let me offer Jesus to you because that's going to be the only way you're going to find the strategy to get out. You can't find it on your own. You can't make it on your own. You can't do it on your own. It has been your own strength that has brought you to this place. So if you don't have Jesus in your heart, He's not in your life, if he's not the king of your castle, 
Then slip your hand up right where you are. Our heads are bowed and eyes are shut. I would love to be able to invite you into the kingdom by receiving Christ today. If you need Christ Jesus in your heart, just slip your hand up so I can pray with you and pray for you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Now, there may be someone here under the sound of my voice that says, Preacher, I, I've accepted Christ. And I know that he's there, but I have a hard time maintaining the instructions. <laughs> he speaks, but then I find myself, you know, doing my own thing. I'm, I'm a renegade by nature. Well, let me ask you, well, where are you? Where are you planted spiritually? Have, have you deposited yourself into a ground that's fertile for the fruit that you are? If, if you're here and, and, and you need a church home, now, I, I don't oftentimes open up the doors of this church like this, but I will today. There, 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 there may be someone here that's in a church, but you ain't grown. And, and, and that's not an indictment on your church. You may have just outgrown it. If, if that's you and you know you need a place where you can be deposited, where you will be held accountable for growing, where, where you will be around other fruit that will help to challenge you to be the best you possible, then let me invite you to New Vision Kingdom Life Center. We're not a perfect church. I'm not a perfect pastor. By no means do I tend to give off that. I've made mistakes. I make mistakes. And I shall continue to make mistakes. But here's the joy. In this place, we believe God. We believe God for your betterment, for your progress. Yes, Jesus. In this place, you will be perfected along the way. And if you need a church home, then just slip your hand up right where you are. I just want to pray with you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Is there anybody else who needs a church home where, where we might be able to 